to add and subtract similar fractions. In one half, one is what we call the numerator and two is what we call the denominator. Similar fractions are fractions with the same denominators like 1 fourth, 3 fourth, 5 over 4, and 7 over 4. They have a common denominator which is 4. Steps on how to add fr similar fractions. Number 1, add the numerators. So we have 1 plus 3 that is equal to 4. Next, copy the denominator or the common denominator which is 7. So divide it by or over 7. And then reduce to lowest term if possible. But 4 over 7 is already in lowest term. Therefore, that's the final answer. Next, 3 over 5 plus 2 over 5 or 3 fifth plus 2 fifth. Add the numerators, 3 plus 2 that is equal to 5. Copy the common denominator 5. And then 5 divided by 5 is equal to 1. That's the final answer. Here's another example. 1 over 6 plus 2 over 6. 1 plus 2 that is equal to 3. And copy the common denominator 6. But 3 over 6 is not yet in lowest term. So what are we going to do to reduce this to lowest term is to find the greatest common factor of 3 and 6. Now, 3 that is equal to 3 times 1 or 1 times 3. And therefore, the factors of 3 are 1 and 3. For 6, we have 1 times 6 and 2 times 3. So the factors of 6, we have 1, 2, 3, and 6. You can arrange that in order. For 6, we have 1, 2, 3, and 6. And then the common, the greatest common factor here is 3. And then what are you going to do with that? Divide both numerator and denominator by 3. 3 divided by 3 and 6 divided by 3. And 3 divided by 3 is equal to 1. 6 divided by 3 is equal to 2. So 1 half is the final answer. Now, how to subtract similar fractions? Number 1, subtract the numerators. So we have 5 minus 3, that is equal to 2. And then copy the common denominator, that is equal to 7. And reduce to lowest term if possible. The final answer is 2 over 7, which is already in lowest term. Let's have more examples. 7 over 5 minus 3 over 5. 7 minus 3, that is equal to 4. Copy the common denominator, 5. So 4 fifth is the final answer. Now, if you want to try this, you can pause the video and, and pause if you are ready. So 5 over 8 minus 1 over 8. So 5 minus 1, that is 4 over 8. Now, reducing this to lowest term, finding the greatest common factor of 4 and 8. So for 4, we have 1 and 4. For 8, we have 1 and 8. And also, we 2 and 4. So you can arrange them, 1 and 4. For 8, we have 1, 2, 4, and 8. The greatest common factor here is 4. So 4 divided by 4, that is 1. And 8 divided by 4 is equal to 2. So 1 half. Okay, what's the final answer here? So we have here 14 over 10. Reduce this to lowest term, 14 divided by 2, and 10 divided by 2. And that is equal to 7 over 5. Now, look at the uh, final answer here. 7 over 5, this is what we called improper fraction. Now, if you want to change this improper fraction to a mixed numbers, you just simply divide 7 divided by 5. So 7 divided by 5 is 1. 1 times 5, that is 5. Subtract, that is 2. So the final answer, or in a mixed numbers, the answer is 1, which is the answer here, that should be 1. Then the remainder 2 will be the numerator and the divisor 5 will be the denominator. 
So, 1 and 2 fifths. Here's another example. 25 over 12 minus 5 over 12. Subtract the numerators, 25 minus 5, that is equal to 20, and copy the common denominator, 12. Now, 20 over 12 is not yet in lowest term. Another way to find for the greatest common factor is using prime factorization. So you need to find the prime factors of 20 and 12. So for 20, we have 4 times 5. But 4 is not in, uh, it's not a prime number, so you need to factor this again. We have here for 4, 2 times 2. 5 is already a prime number. So we have 2 times 2 times 5. For 12, we have 3 times 4. 3 is already a prime number, but 4 is not. So you can factor this as 2 times 2. Now, the prime factors of 20, 2 times 2 times 5, for 12, 2 times 2 times 3. And, you notice here that we have two sets of 2. So, what are you going to do is just to find for the GCF, you are just going to multiply that. That is 2 times 2, that is equal to 4. So, the greatest common factor of 20 and 12 is 4. So, 20 divided by 4 and 12 divided by 4. 20 divided by 4 is 5 and 12 divided by 4 is 3. Again, 5 over 3. Change this, uh, change this to uh, mixed numbers. We have 5 divided by 3 and that is equal to 1. 1 times 3, 3. Then subtract, we have 2. So, 1 and 2 over 3 in a mix numbers. That's all for this video and thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Please like my Facebook page, Math A Matic.